Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is now looked at as, as being the, the ultimate source for data on the, on the climate. Bear in mind, they were created by the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and given the mandate of go out there and demonstrate that humans are causing climate change. So right from the very start, that was their mission. And they were not told, go and look for natural causes of natural climate variability, study the human. I'm not at all saying it's not important for us to study our own effects on climate. But it's going to be dangerous, I think, if we neglect, you know, what we're seeing right here on these graphs, this graph that I'm showing you, because that's clearly not carbon dioxide. If we're told, and we have been repeatedly told, that carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere held relatively steady at about 280 parts per million prior to the Industrial Revolution, and only subsequent to the Industrial Revolution did carbon dioxide start going up. If we assume, just for the sake of argument, that, that that's correct, well, look at this graph. What we're saying is that if carbon dioxide held steady at 280 parts per million going back hundreds of thousands of years, as Al Gore has actually stated and, and as many others have stated, it's not carbon dioxide driving those climate changes, is it?